So the Living Breakwaters project is a nature-based uh, climate adaptation and coastal resilience project designed to reduce the risk from coastal flooding and erosion. This is a plan of the Living Breakwaters project. We're located at the southern tip of Staten Island in Tottenville. This is the absolute southernmost point of New York City. Um, and the breakwaters are a row of eight a line of eight breakwaters that are about 700 to 1,000 feet offshore. Each breakwater is about between three and 400 feet long um, with space in between. And so they block oncoming waves um, to prevent uh, wave damage during storms, but also day-to-day -day waves that start to move and transport sa sand, creating erosion. The bright white portions are you know, emergent, stick out, but a big portion of the breakwaters are subtidal and create complex reef-like habitat under the water. The breakwaters sit in Raritan Bay. One of the things that's made it practical to build them there is Raritan Bay in this location is pretty shallow. Um, the tide goes up and down five feet each day, right? But at low tide, the bay here is between maybe four and 10 feet deep where the breakwaters are. So there is a big underwater portion, but you can imagine if the water was 20 feet deep, it would be a lot larger. This project began in the wake of Hurricane Sandy, which happened in 2012, right? So the concept and vision for this project emerged in 2013, 2014. We're here a decade later. This right now is a really big milestone. October 2024, we're finishing construction. Tottenville was, is a community in the south shore of Staten Island that was incredibly hard hit during Sandy. Um, in addition to coastal flooding, they saw extreme damage from wave attack. Um, the first line of homes were uh, destroyed, um, and sadly, a, a, a father and daughter were actually washed out to sea and lost their lives in Sandy. So what are they actually getting? Is they're buying, they're buying some time. We can build infrastructure to alleviate risk, um, such as the living breakwaters that might attenuate storm surges. But as our sea levels continue to rise, there's more water. Um, and so you're gonna to have to build them higher, but also there's more water flowing around them, behind them that could affect the land in behind. So eventually there's this physical adaptation limit where the water levels are as high or nearly as high as the land levels and there's going to be erosion. All of the literature at the coast talks about ultimately we're going to need to retreat, but there's going to need to be landward retreat in of these low-lying areas. And I would just implore all of the politicians and things around the world to think, let's make decisions now that are about putting future generations first.